In this lecture, we will program the AI logic for the dark side character in our game. Up at the top of the program, we will add an import statement to import Python's random module. Next, we will go to the part of the code where we added shapes to the screen and add two more shapes. The first will be darksidekick.gif. The second will be darksidepunch.gif. Then we will go to the bottom of the load game function. We are now going to write the logic that will allow Darkseid to move around and fight Batman. The first step is to call time.sleep and pass in 2. This is so that right after the screen loads, Darkseid does not immediately run over and attack Batman. That would overwhelm the player and lead to a poor user experience. Instead, we wait 2 seconds to give the player an opportunity to look at the level and take it all in before the fight. We want Darkseid to move and attack while the game is still going on. The game is still running while both Batman and Darkseid have not hit zero health. Once one of them hits zero health, it's game over. So our while loop will be while Batman health is greater than zero, and Darkseid health is greater than zero. Inside of the while loop we will use an if statement to check if Batman's X position is less than Darkseid's X position. If so, we want to move Darkseid to the left, so we will call Darkseid.backward and pass in 100. Else, we will move Darkseid right by calling Darkseid.forward and passing in 100. Outside of the if-else statement, we will call time.sleep and pass in 1, so that the code waits for 1 second before continuing the run. Then we will create a variable named number and set it equal to random.randrange. We will pass in 0 as the first argument and 100 as the second argument. This will generate a random number between 0 and 99. If the number is greater than 50, we will have Darkseid punch. To do this, we will set Darkseid's shape to the Darkseid punch GIF file. Then we will call time.sleep and pass in 0.15. After that, we will set Darkseid's shape back to his idle pose of Darkseid1.gif. Else, we will set Darkseid's shape to Darkseidkick.gif. Then we will call time.sleep and pass in 0.15. Finally, we will set Darkseid's shape to Darkseid1.gif. At the bottom of the while loop, outside of this if-else statement, we will call time.sleep and pass in 1 to make the code wait for 1 second before running the code in the while loop again. Let's run the code. After a few seconds, we should see that Darkseid now moves and attacks. Great work! You learned how to program the basic AI logic for a video game character. In the next lecture, we will write code to handle the state of the game.